Standby, Al. Uh, Houston, if you agree, we're going to um, let uh, Steve finish up the whip extender task and then head back to the airlock, and then we'll be ready for... You're not going to sing, are you? <laughs> Message in a bottle. And, uh, Nicole, we concur with that. Message in a bottle next. And, Discovery, we copied the music from the police there. Awesome. Steve Bowen's helmet camera as he uh, translates to uh, return a worksite interface extender to the uh, external stowage platform number two on the forward side of the Quest airlock. And we were listening to uh, the accompaniment from uh, the space station, the crew playing the song from the police, Message in a Bottle. That'll be the final task for the spacewalk today as Steve Bowen and Al Drew take part in a, an activity sponsored by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. They will uh, retrieve a metal cylinder from the uh, airlock. They'll open it to fill that cylinder with uh, the vacuum of space and then uh, bring it back home where it will be uh, returned to the ground for public display. for uh, location of whip extender? Yep, on ESP2 whip 3, and it's going to be pointing aft. I've got settings here if you want them. Pointing aft? Yeah, I'll do. It's 3 alpha 1. 3 alpha 1. I see black on black, good tech test, clocking of three. Okay, moving my BRT. Alright, and now with a uh, message in a bottle, uh, we've got a caution here. You want to avoid impact on the space bottle, the cover, and the valve. And okay. sharp edges do exist under the Kapton tape that's at the wire's edge. Okay. Get away from me to get the camera. Yep. Waiting for that. Getting clear so you can get over to the bag and the camera. Okay. Okay, three alpha and extension of one, right? That's correct. And we're all set there. And it's in place with a good pull test, black on black. She missed that earlier. Excellent, got it. Steve Bowen in the foreground has uh, completed an ad hoc get ahead task of removing a worksite interface extender to the uh, stowage platform that's attached to the Quest airlock. And now uh, Al Drew's helmet camera as he gets uh, retrieved. This we're doing at this point. The uh, canister for the uh, message in a bottle activity. I can take a look at you, Steve, and see. Once uh, Steve Bowen returns with the camera, they will uh, conduct that final uh, final work for today's spacewalk. What you want to do again, Steve, is rotate again towards your right. Okay, to my right? To your right. Like this? Nope. All the way, sorry. <laughs> You're good. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, that 
Oh, if I flip it down. There it is. Okay. So, where's the camera? Camera is on the get ahead that you're floating up towards you. I see it. Give me a second to get that. Okay. Why don't you, you want to get on this we'll, side? Uh, we'll work on a dozy do dose -do um, down sun and that shovel in the background and all yeah. that. Got its rep to me. I have the camera. Okay, and Steve, we had talked about maybe moving up on the Cedar Spur, but um, you guys have a better idea of this than we do. All right, now, if you go up on the Cedar Spur, yep. I could probably get. In the position to see. Okay. I can go around behind you. Let me want to get on the, on the ring of the airlock ring. Um. That way I can go in more to you and keep the cutters clear. Actually, I can go back out to the. Yeah, let me go back out to the lockers. Okay. I potentially could just take the picture from there too. Okay. Now in this view, we can see uh, Al Drew uh, translating on the Cedar Spur, a little hand bridge that goes from the airlock up to the uh, truss. That's Drew on the left in this view and Steve Bowen on the right. Vehicle currently flying 229 miles above the far southwestern Pacific Ocean. That's where I need to go. Okay. Up here. Yeah. And if I go outboard a little bit, you get more of the HTV in there. It'll work too. Okay, let me put my BRT, I'll get it off. That'll give me a good stable. The spacewalkers are working to uh, get the composition of the photographs just so for this uh, activity sponsored by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, trying to set up so that uh, elements of the Japanese section of the station will be visible behind Al Drew.
think I need you higher up. Higher up. Further up the spur, or just more zenith on this spot? Uh, further up the spur, and then you can get your body above the spur itself. Well. Well. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise you get cut in half. Okay. That's Steve Bowen in the center of this uh, camera view uh, no, one, to get himself uh, stabilized uh, with the camera to uh, get close-up pictures of uh, Al Drew on the right as he performs the message in a bottle activity. Now from Al Drew's helmet camera, you can see in the lower right-hand corner, uh, his right hand is holding the bottle. Thank you. 